Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and look here at the Netron CLU software. There's really two classes, two types of people I would say that would really benefit from this software, okay? The first is if you have a lot of Netron nodes or you're wanting to configure or reconfigure nodes that are on a network somewhere in your facility, but not really that physically easy to get to. Okay, that's that's use case number one. Uh, use case number two, and then we'll tell you what it actually does, is, is if you happen to have a lot of EP4s which don't have a screen, and you need to configure them. Even if you just have one and you need to configure it, uh, you might find that it really helps to have a way to find it. Um, because if you can't find it, say you've set an IP address on it, or say it went out on gig, somebody changed the IP address, and then you're trying to get back into it. How do you fit? How do you find it? You can't without, without doing a factory reset. I mean, you could, and people will probably comment about how you can't, but this solves all this. Okay, so what are we looking at? Netron CLU is a app. It is a Windows program that you can download uh, from Onyx, from Obsidian Control Systems. At the time of this recording, I just downloaded uh, the uh, release candidate uh, 1.0.6. So um, it's still a new software at this point, but it's really cool because it does a couple things for you that are just awesome. Okay, so let's take a look here. I've loaded it and I've connected an EP2 and an RDM10 on my local network, okay? I purposefully put my RDM10 on an IP address range that my computer's not in. Okay, so that's the first cool thing about it is say, you know, you, you know, say we're talking about a uh, EP4 and I'm pointing over there because I've got some over there uh, in stock at learningstagelightinggear.com, by the way, uh, the best place to buy lights, Netron, Onyx, anything. We'd love to help you. Um, but I've got a bunch of those on the shelf. And, you know, if it comes back from a gig, you had to put it on somebody else's network and you changed the IP address out of DHCP, and now you can't contact it. This is going to tell you right away what that IP address is. Then, look at this. Look at this, people. You have the ability. I could flip it over to DHCP, okay? Grab the device. It's rebooting. It's rebooted. Hit refresh. And it found it. Boom. See, just like that stinking simple. Okay. And so that's one awesome use case. Um, but uh, the CLU can do some other things. So if you've got a bunch of nodes that you're setting up, you know, and you want to go and set them up maybe for something you're installing. Hey, look, there's a device name field. Maybe that's the A node in this, this installation and you've got, you know, six of them, A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E, F, I can't count. Okay, you can name those. Now you'll be able to tell what they are. Uh, in fact, calling them the Netron EP2A, really, you could cut out the EP2 because that's the device type. But regardless, that's semantics at this point. Uh, so a bunch of really cool stuff this software can do. Like ultimately, the Netron devices are browser-based um, and inside Onyx, you can change the universes, but this is just a really great software for so many things because the, as they add more to it, you can get to more and more inside of here to be able to configure your device without having to be physically present with it, which in a lot of circumstances can be super beneficial. Um, just as another example here, it's, it shows you you know all the info on here. Uh, and if you've got, say you hook up like five EP2s, right? And you just, they're all DHCP. You wanna know which one you're working with. Hit identify, actually I'll do it on the RDM10 here. And then you get the flashing identify lights on the unit itself. By the way, did you all know that this unit, a 19 inch rack RDM 10 unit uh, that we have at learningstagelightinggear.com, did you know that it can actually be PoE powered? Look, mom, no power cord. What? That that blows me away. I totally thought the PoE on the back was uh, just an output, like a pass through to your next device. 
Nope. So, um, so, but there's a lot that you can do in here, which is just great. You know, if you're setting up a single device or a lot, I mean, obviously if you're setting up a single device and it's pretty simple, the onboard screen on most of the Netron devices is going to get you rocking and rolling. Uh, but if you're setting up multiple devices, if you're using an EP4, which is a excellent, absurdly good value in DMX node and it doesn't have a screen, um, then, you know, this is your option here. And so you'll see like some things like the Netron presets. Okay. I click on that. It just kicks me to the web browser, but it kicks me right to the right page. And so then I can load the presets. I can save the presets. I can get to all the stuff in the web, but it's, it's just super handy that, you know, you can get to, uh, some of the things in here. Um, most of it kicks to the web browser. I know they're improving that in the future, um, but last but not least, there is the ability to firmware update. And, and this is awesome. So look at this. It shows us as long as you're on the internet, like I am right now, shows you the current firmware of the device and it shows you what is available online. Hello. So you get a bunch of nodes or you're, you're looking at your yearly, you know, you're, you're just refreshing your lighting system and you're like, Hey, there's a new firmware out, update out. Maybe it fixes something you needed. Maybe it doesn't, who knows? Um, and you're able to, to just go right here and say, okay, update that firmware. And I hit it, even though I'm at the current version, I think it is going to flash the firmware. But anywho, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you see that there's a great way to be able to work with your Netron devices, whether you have one, whether you have multiple, without having to be physically with the device. And, and there's a lot of perks to it with the Netron CLU software, which you can download right now, uh, being that it's in alpha or beta or something from the Obsidian Control Forum, but I'm sure it will be on their website in the future. Uh, uh, check it out, test it, use it. And of course, when you need nodes, when you need lighting, when you need anything lighting or AV related, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We're here to help and we love to help people. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'm David from LearnStageLighting.com. We'll see you in the next video. And of course, at Learn Stage Lighting Gear.